welcome to my demo and review of um, one of the bath bombs that um, Lush have released for um, celebrating Eid and it's called Light the Night and this bath bomb is six pounds and it's a cute little lantern uh, it's covered in gold shimmer and it's got little hints of lilac in the front there and then you've got green bits of turquoise around the side and this gold on the back and the scent of this one, I'll read out the ingredients whilst it's dissolving, um, but I pick up quite a floral note. I don't know if this scent is for me. And jasmine, I don't. I, I actually liked the jasmine bath bomb from Mother's Day, but this I'm not so sure. So I'll see what it's like in the water. You can see on my fingers already, there's a lot of gold shimmer coming off. And my boyfriend came in earlier and I had this on the side ready to do the demo. And <laughs> He didn't realise it was this, but he said, what is that awful smell in the bathroom? And I thought he was talking about the Sticky Dates um, shower gel. But when I showed him this, I said, is it this? And um, he said, yes, that it smells awful. So he clearly doesn't like it. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll pop it in and then we can see what it's like in the bath. It's actually really pretty, really pretty colours. So I'm just going to read off the ingredients so you know what's in this bath bomb. So it's got jasmine absolute, vanilla absolute, labdomen resinoid, I wonder if that's the smell I'm not keen on, um, olibanum resinoid, rose syrup, pomegranate molasses, and I think those are the main scents. So yeah, I wonder if it's one of those that I'm not so keen on. It's really pretty in the water though. Actually, this is one bath bomb where if the scent is more dilute, I won't complain because <laughs> I think I would prefer it more dilute. So it's about five minutes now and it's starting to slow down quite a lot. Um, I'm just gonna see how much is left. So yeah, there's only like a little bit on each end to go. Um, but I'll show you the colour of the water. The water does look very shimmery actually, it does look really pretty. So it's a lovely lime green colour. It does look very shimmery. But I'll have my bath and then I'll report back afterwards. Okay, so I'm out of the bath now and um, unfortunately I really, really dislike this bath bomb. Um, I only lasted about half an hour in the water because the smell was just too intense. Um, to me it smells like, you know when you've had bleach or something in the bathroom and it's got that sort of cloying smell, it was irritating my throat a bit and um, ironically the smell also lingers on your skin so I thought typical the one time I don't want the smell to linger it lingers so um, what I had to do afterwards is um, I've, I've never done this before is have a shower so I had a bath and then I had a shower to get rid of the scent because I just couldn't stand the smell and this came to my saviour is the orange shower scrub because um, I tried using a bit of gel and it still wasn't getting the scent off so I thought I'm going to have to scrub it off. Um, so I used the, the orange shower scrub which is brilliant, really refreshing scent and that has got the scent now off my skin, thank goodness. This so far is the worst bath bomb I have ever tried and that includes Lush and other places. And yeah, really disappointed. Um, so if I were you, I would definitely smell this in store if you've got similar taste to me. And um, it's six pounds as well, so that I feel like I've just wasted six pounds. But I suppose I've done a review for you guys. I love the colour of the water. It was a lovely lime colour with lots of gold shimmer in it. That was really pretty. The bath art at the beginning was really pretty. It's just the scent. I really didn't like the scent at all. So definitely smell it in store. And otherwise I'd spend more money and get a bigger bottle of the Sticky Dates shower gel because I will be reviewing that soon. So as you can see, I have used a little bit there, but even that wasn't enough to get rid of the scent off my skin. So I had to resort to the orange shower scrub 
Um, my boyfriend came in afterwards and he said, flipping it, what is that stink? So he um, hated the smell as well. It just smells of cleaning products again. So this is probably my worst bath bomb and um, the Mimosa shower gel is my worst shower gel so far. So yeah, let me know if you try this bath bomb and let me know what you think. And also look out for my review for the Sticky Date shower gel because that will be coming up next. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.